So, I'm making my bed um, with fitted sheets, but this la the top, it's it's open in it, so there's no there is no like covering, there's no gate um, that goes down to the bottom, and then there's only about I was I want to say a meter space from the bed to the opening of the staircase that go downstairs. So if anything bad happens, it's, um, I would probably fall to my death and try and get up, climb the stairs, and call 911. Okay, I've been trying to get this fitted sheet around this mattress. I have it pretty well. <clears throat> pretty well fitted, but it's only the first layer. I normally have two layers on, um, just for comfort sakes. And, and cause I'm also lazy, so if one layer gets dirty, I can just peel off one layer, throw, in, throw it in the laundry, and then I wouldn't have to worry about, um, and empty bed sheet, or empty bed without a sheet. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm on my first, I'm on my first one, um, and I'm way too scared because for the whole entire time that I've been making this bed, I've been thinking, huh, my landlord who, ex-girlfriend who we used to live in this loft, the reason why that she probably moved out is because one, not because she broke up with him or he broke up with her, is probably, most likely, she fell to her death. And, um, my landlord didn't make this, uh, very girlfriend friendly. Number two, I don't know. It's just, oh, I'm so, I'm, I'm just not ready to fall to my death today. I don't want to die. You know, that makes such a bad way to go. Like, falling to your death, making a bed with thick sheets. They're not even like Egyptian cotton sheets, they're just cotton. Anyhow, um, today I went to the Dawson City Museum. There was, it's more historical rather than cultural. Um, it doesn't have a lot of the um, incorporations of how um, the First Nations involvement, this just has more of just the mining aspect of it and how the, the founders um, of the miners who found gold in Yukon. So, um, that's it. And what else happened today? Yeah, that's it. Um, I'll just keep making my bed. Oh, I also twisted my ankle. And I've been... <laughs> I've been needing to go to, okay, so the thing about the boardwalk, and I'm, my friends have been really pegging me about um, walking like a maniac um, in the middle of the street here in Dawson, but the thing is, I like walking on the pavement in the middle of the street is because it's comfortable, and the boardwalk, it's really uneven, and... <laughs> So, and they're different heights, so what happened was when I was walking from, down from the boardwalk to the pavement, I had twisted my ankle over here. And so it's a little bit, I think there's a little bit of, not a fracture, it's just sprained. Um, but yeah, that's it. And so I have to make an appointment to go see the doctors and, um... Yeah, I'm probably get like a tensor band from the pharmacist. Uh, so that's about it. And I also looked into staying here for next summer. A lot of the people who are here for the summer, they're migrating to Whitehorse or to wherever they came. Um, I'm still in the process of figuring that out because once I leave in on the 27th, um, that's when I kind of decide if I should come back during the winter 
or stay in Toronto and then continue to look for jobs and then hopefully apply for school to go back to school. Um, there's a lot of options open right now just because where I stand right now in this period of my life. Um, yeah, um, that's it for the update for today. It's uh, getting a little colder, that's why I do have a down jacket on and a lot of the people, a lot of the locals, they are starting to cover their gardens. Um, for the seasons and then so then by around June they'll start harvesting um, They'll start harvesting their fruits and vegetables Is harvesting the right term? I know germinating is kind of when they start growing little little seeds, but Harvesting is that picking anyhow? Um, yeah, so that's it and um other updates anything else i guess it'll be for the next video thanks for watching um if you want to you can think about subscribing but it's not a big deal um bye <laughs>